Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to part 11. In today's video we're going to be starting to lay some ground for our API. This is actually going to be a relatively short video. Uh, we're not going to be actually creating API here, we're just going to create the structure and some dependencies for our API that we're going to start working in the next video. And one other thing, I know I have been talking about that we are going to be doing API for Facebook, but um, unfortunately I decided not to do Facebook because it's kind of big and if I were to do API for Facebook, um, there would be a lot of things that would be left out uh, to kind of just be out there and not answered. But instead what we're going to do, we're going to use the speed test app and I'm going to show you how to cover this app completely. So you will have a much better understanding of how to go about making the uh, API, how to implement the structure uh, so it makes sense, it's easy, and it's very, uh, very nice to work with. So instead, we're going to use the speed test app since you already have it and we have been working with it uh, in, in the previous video. So I think that's going to be a lot better than using Facebook. So with that said, let's go ahead and remove our apps that Facebook package from here. And let's go into Java, right click on Java and we're going to create new package inside our API and we're going to call it apps again. And inside apps, we're going to create a class that's going to be called apps. Now this class is going to be representing all of the apps that we have API for. So if we create an app and we create API for it, um, we, we need to put it into this class. So let's go ahead and create API, well not API, but uh, class that's going to be representing our uh, speed test. So the first thing we need to do is to create a package because we're going to be keeping each app in its own separate package. So we're going to create a package, call it speed test. And inside speed test we're going to create a class that's going to be called speed test as well. And now that we have a representation of our speed test app, let's go ahead and add that representation to our app list. So we're going to say public speed test, speed test equals new speed test. Now that we have this reference in our apps, we need to make sure we can reference our apps as well. And what's our central hub for referencing stuff? Well, it's our Android class. So let's go into our Android class and make sure we create public static variable for our apps. And we call it app equal new apps. Okay. So at this point, this if we wanted to reference speed test, this is how it would look. We would say Android app speed test, and then we would have some API here, and we, we, we could be uh, we could say like open, and it would open the app for us. Okay, <clears throat> but we're gonna be doing that in the next video. One other thing I wanted to do in this video is create uh, some interfaces that we're going to be using in all of the um, in all of the apps and activity uh, representations. So we're going to create a new package. We're going to call this package interfaces, and inside of this package, we're going to create a new interface. We're going to call it. Uh, well, let's start with application. This is our application, and this is going to be um, not a class, but an interface. So we're going to change this to an interface. And it's going to, well, interface is like an abstract representation of something, right? So if we have an app, 
like speed test, there are certain things we can do with it. We can force stop it, we can uh, open it, we can clear data, we can get the package ID or, or activity ID, or we can get the version, right? So you can do a lot more things, but you know, depending on your requirements, you can um, add them or uh, remove them from this interface. So let's go ahead and implement those methods that I just listed. Uh, so the first one is going to be a void method that's going to force stop uh, the app. Next one is going to return an object when we open the app. Next one is going to be a void for clear data. I'm going to move it up here. <clears throat> and then another one is going to return a string uh, for package ID. And the other one is also going to return a string for activity ID. And next one is going to return an integer. And it's going to tell which version of the app we have. So this is our application interface. Then the next interface we're going to create is for activity. So it's going to be called activity. And again, this is not a class, this is an interface. So we're going to change this to an interface. And activity interface, um, again, you can add uh, whichever methods you want, but I found that every activity should have a method that waits for that activity to be loaded. So we're going to create a method that's going to return um, it's going to return an object and it's going to be called wait to load. That's it. That's the only method we're going to have in our activity here. So let's go back to our apps to our speed test and make sure that our speed test is actually um, implementing our application interface. Now we're going to get this error, but what we're going to do, we're going to say implement methods and we're going to accept all of these methods and now we have our force stop, clean data, open and all this stuff that we specified in our um, application here. So what we can do right now is we can call Android ADB and we can call force stop and we're going to be calling force stop on package ID. And then we're going to do the same thing for clear data. We're going to call Android ADB clear, whoops, clear apps data. We're also going to be calling that on a package ID. And then we're going to be, uh, we're not actually going to return anything just yet uh, because we don't have any um, activities implemented. So we will leave this as null, but <clears throat> we'll go ahead and create the open method. So it can actually open the app for us. So we, again, we're going to reference Android ADB and we're going to say open apps activity. We're going to reference the package ID and the activity ID. And then our package ID here is going to be this value that we already know. So let's see, where's the speed test? Right there. So we're just going to paste that in here. Then we're going to get the activity ID from here as well. And we're going to paste it. And then the next thing is going to return the version. So we're going to use Android ADB to get the version. And let's see, get Android version string. And device, Android app. I'm not actually sure if he implemented the method to get the app version. Yeah, I think we haven't. So actually, let's go ahead and remove this um, from our interface in this case. 
okay that should be enough so in the next video guys we're going to be creating API uh, to actually do things for us but uh, in the, as far as this video goes I think that's enough <clears throat> I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't shared the videos. You know, feel free to spread the word, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.